Hey Sarah, it's Cindy. I just wanted to show you how to do that composite that you were asking about. Um, so first thing you do is in Photoshop, under File, go down to Scripts and Load Files into Stack. Because these two files are really similar, um, we can do this and it, uh, it works out very nicely. So grab our two files, which I have in my download folder, click OK. And the trick is to attempt to auto-align these sources. So Photoshop will line up our photos for us, which is, um, it saves us a step from having to do it, and it uh, works out pretty good. Now, there's a couple of things with this. So we've got uh, the back focus at the top of the stack, which is perfect. I'm just going to double-click and name it back. And this is the front focused. And we're just going to call this one front because that way I know what I'm doing. And so all we're going to do is put a mask on this back one so that we can um, block off the unfocused part of the front of this photo. So we're going to click mask. And it comes in white when you just click it. If I had option clicked, it would have been black, but frankly, I always forget to do that. Uh, Command I will convert it to black. It'll inverse it. And then all we're going to do is grab my paintbrush and uh, I have the mask selected. You can tell from the little white lines. And so I can paint either black or white on a mask. I'm going to paint white on my black mask so that I can show this part of the photo. Do -do 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 -do. Going up here. And so basically I am going to bring in the whole part of this photo and then we're going to come back and fix something. Sorry for the extra noises in the background, but my daughter is playing. Of course at the table that I am working on. All right, so that is looking pretty good. There's a couple spots we have to fix. I don't know if you can see it, but you can if I zoomed in. Um, there's a line there. Ah, it's no good. So we can either crop this right there, uh, or we can uh, get rid of it by doing a little uh, cleanup work. So cropping it, obviously the easiest solution, but I'll show you how to clean it up if you want to. So we need to have more of the back focus picture on that edge. Now we could clone it in, that would work. Or what we can do is just grab this layer, uh, Command J to duplicate it. Command J to duplicate it. And uh, I'm going to Shift F5 to just fill this with um, black. Because I'm too lazy to do any other way. Um, v or the move tool which is right there so that I can just shift this layer uh, shift this layer over and if you're not thinking about it and you put a black layer mask on something you need to see you can disable the layer mask like I just did by right clicking on it so all I'm going to do is shove this over just a little bit to cover up that gap. And then on the layer mask, I'm going to paint white to uh, reveal the layer. Not pink. God days. Anyway. Da, 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 da. Okay, and now I have on my brush, uh, my brush has got um, a pretty big feather on it. You can see it here that my hardness is at 28, um, the opacity is 100, and I'm painting in with a very with a very soft edged brush. And what I want to do is paint this in so that we don't see this edge. I want it to blend a little better. And so the soft edge brush is the, the key to that. And then you just brush the edges so that everything blends. Now I think that edge along the top needs to just be cropped. 
And that is basically it. It's a pretty simple composite. It's the exact same way that you could composite in doing a, um, a sky replacement or a background, a background replacement when you uh, don't have to cut out any, any people. And uh, it works out really good. All right. I hope that this helps you and we will talk to you soon. Bye.